Depth of field is something all filmmakers should be aware of. It's the area of your shot that's going to be in focus, and it's affected by several choices, your lenses, your lighting, and your blocking. First, what is depth of field? It is the area in your shot that is in focus. Now, technically, there's only one true area of focus in the shot. It's like, you know, my plane of my eyes. But because our eyes and lenses can perceive certain ranges of focus, it can range from three feet in front of me to six feet behind me. Depth of field is broken into thirds. So if you have nine feet in your depth of field, it'll be three feet in front of the subject, like in front of me, and six feet behind. So you know you could put an actor over my shoulder, they'll be in focus. But if they're clear at the wall back there, they're not gonna be in focus. What are some of the factors that affect depth of field? Lens choice or the focal length of your lens is going to affect depth of field greatly. A long lens, a telephoto lens, will have less depth of field than a wide angle lens, like the one we're using now. And that's because of the wider angle of view. Here we have a shot of our subject with a wide angle lens, and you'll see that the objects in the foreground and background, including the subject, are in focus. When we zoom in or switch to a longer focal length lens or telephoto lens, we'll see that the foreground and background elements are out of focus. This is showing your depth of field is being limited. All lenses have an aperture, which can open and close to get a proper exposure for your image. And it's kind of a backwards world where the smaller the number, the bigger the opening, and the larger the number, the smaller the opening. It's really an inverse thing. It's 16 over one or two over one. So how does this affect depth of field? Well, when you're wide open, it's a big hole and it means the light is scattered and it's harder to focus it down on your film plane or sensor. Where if you make the hole smaller, the light is more focused on the sensor and there it can focus a lot easier and give you more depth of field. Another factor is light level. And pure and simple, this means the more light you have, the bigger depth of field you'll have. If you're lighting in low light levels, you're gonna have less depth of field because, again, you're gonna to have to open up the aperture of the camera and your depth of field will plummet. So that's the reason if you want less depth of field, you drop the light level. And you can do this by taking lights away or adding an ND filter to your camera, which is a neutral density filter, which lessens the light reaching your image. The final factor is the size of your imaging sensor or film gate. Uh, the bigger the sensor or gate, the harder it is to, again, focus the light down. So you're gonna have less depth of field. And that's the reason people today are going with these larger sensor cameras like DSLRs, is that it matches a 35 millimeter film frame and your depth of field is less. Where if you're shooting a, uh, a smaller handheld camera or like your phone, the sensor could be as big as your pinky or smaller. And the smaller that is, the easier it is to focus the light down and ergo, you have more depth of field. When we talk deep focus, that means everything in the shot is in focus. And when we talk shallow focus, that means only a select area is in focus. And the reason you wanna go with shallow focus is you want the audience to focus on that specific element. And if you want deep focus, then you wanna show the grandeur of your shot. Depth of field is an incredibly powerful tool in filmmaking to make the audience focus on what you want them to see. So use it to tell the stories you wanna tell.